The library hosted things like this. I actually came across the Debbie May Cumber one. It's really nice to get, I think, more involved with the library and getting to meet people from our city. And because I didn't think I'd ever get to do something like this where I got to meet like my favorite author. So the having this opportunity in our community is pretty awesome. contacted Debbie when my second child was killed in a car accident and told her how much her books meant to me. And she wrote me back a lovely note and sent me a tea bag and said have a cup of tea with me. I still have the tea bag. I would be the last person you would ever expect to be a published author. I'm dyslexic. I didn't learn to read until I was in the fifth grade. When I was in grade school, the third grade teacher told my mother, Debbie's a nice little girl, but she's never going to do well. There were a few bright spots in my school years. When I was in the eighth grade, my brother and two of my cousins made copies of my diary and sold it to the boys in my class. <laughs> It was traumatic at the time, but now as I think back on that, I just remember how well it sold. <laughs> matter to me because the very first book I ever held was given to me by a librarian and libraries are more than a place to get books they're community centers they're where people conjugate and where friendships are made and librarians recommend books and so libraries are just part of the community and a very important part when I was about four or five my mother took me to the library for the very first time and when the librarian handed me the book I grabbed it with both of my hands and put it right next to my heart I was so excited to hold a real book and my mom said from that point forward into this very day I do not go to bed without a book in my hands. That librarian was in Yakima, Washington and her name was Beverly Clary. 